Now another way of connecting with the pelvis is through movement. And so here I'm sitting and showing a forward and back movement of the pelvis. And then I'm transitioning into a side to side. So moving laterally and feeling for that shifting, weight shifting motion. So I apologize for the backside uh, view, but that way you can see what is happening with the pelvis and, and minimizing how much movement is happening in the torso. And then combining the two movements of the side to side, forward and back, and moving it into a pelvic clock, or you can also see it as a pelvic compass and just moving in all of those different directions and it should feel smooth and easy to move through this in one great way of feeling the contours of the pelvis as you move through this.